Hello, this is Anna Schrock with My Amish Heritage. Welcome to lesson number three of Learn to Speak Pennsylvania Dutch, the language that the Amish speak. I grew up Amish in Pennsylvania and I started doing some lessons for those who'd like to learn the Pennsylvania Dutch language. So I have lesson one and lesson two already. So today we're ready for lesson number three. Hello, how are you today? We already went over this one. Hello, wie bist du heit? Hello, wie bist du heit? I am good. If you want to say, I am good, thank you. Ich bin gut. Dengi. Ich bin gut. Dengi. Last time I went over the man and the woman. The, the man is the man, and the woman is the fra. I had somebody um, message me and said that fra is wife, a woman is vibes mensch. And I got to thinking about that. I was like, I don't think we really used vibes mensch very much. I did hear it. I knew what it was. But I think we mostly called any woman a fra. And I asked my husband about it. I asked him if he grew up with more of the Ohio Dutch, Pennsylvania Dutch. Um, and he said, I asked him, what would you call a woman? He said, fra. So I think we kind of use fra for any woman, although fra also is wife. So I guess technically an unmarried woman you shouldn't call a fra. Although we would have often, like any girl that's not married, we would have just called her middle girl, middle. But I think fra is used for both sometimes, for woman or wife. But I guess in some areas, and some people would say vibes mensch. Vibes mensch for woman. The mon and the vibes mensch. So when you have a lot of women, that this is where we would have used the vibe part. Because if there was more than one woman, we would have said for women we would have said vibes light. For men it's months light and for women it's vibes light. Like say the men and the women sit on opposite sides in the church, you would say the men's light sit over there and the vibes light sit over there. So men's light and the vibes light. People is simply light. The light. So that's where you're basically saying woman women people and men people. <laughs> So it's most light and by its light. The people is light. Um, a couple other words that I thought I would cover today is he. For he, you would say er. Er. He said er, that's all. Or she, is it, it's see. See, that's all. Sometimes you would say s, like it means s, but sometimes you would also use s for a woman, like instead of she, you would say s hut taught. She said s hut taught. But it is also s. Um, some phrases that I thought we would go over today include the it is. It is is s is. I didn't know if I should put the double S in there, but it's not is, it's is. More like an S sound in there, where the English has more of a Z sound in there. So it is, is S is. And a lot of times when you're saying a phrase like it is time to go, you would put it together as it's time to go. Then you would use it as sis, sis type, again. So it is, is S is, and it's is sis. Time, the word time is tight. Tight. And home is him. Him. Go is gear. Gear. Him. Gear. So, hello, how are you today? Is hello, wie bist du heit? And I am good, you would say, thank, I am good, thank you. You would say, ich bin gut, dengi. Ich bin gut, dengi. 
So the man is Daman, and the woman is the fra, de fra or either Weibsmensch. De Weibsmensch. Either one. Different people use different phrases, and I'm sure we're going to run into that some more. Different communities, and some of them are a little more Dutchified, have more um, German words included. Wife is fra. Wife would always be called a fra. Men, like if you have a group of men, months light, months light, and the vibes light. Women is vibes light. People is light, the light. He is air, air, and she is sea, sea. It is s. So there's a lot of times you use the feminine and the masculine, and then the neuter would be it or s. It is is s is. S is, or it is, or it's. You would put it together as sis. Time is tight. Home is ham. And go is gear. I'm going to have a couple of phrases with using some of these words. If you would say it is time to go to bed. It is time to go to bed would be sis tight fa ins bet gear. Sis tight fa ins bet gear. It is time to go to bed. Sis tight fa ins bet gear. It is time to get up would be sis tight um ba oof I don't know how that spelled ste um I don't know something like that sis tight for oof ste it could also be translated as time to stand up because ste would be stand, but you're basically saying it's time to get up. Like in the morning, if somebody's supposed to get out of bed, it's time to get up. It's time for ofste. So time is tight. You could say it's time to go home. It's time to go home. Sis, tight. Let me get rid of this. Tight is time. Ham is home. And gay is go. Sis, tight for ham. Gay. Sis, tight for ham. Gay. It's time to go home. Sis, tight for ham. Gay. If you ever have um, like specific phrases that you'd like for me to teach you, uh, leave it in the comments and I will try to get it to you. It's, I should say, it is time to stop would be sis tight. The stopper. This is tight for stopper. Okay. So it is time to go to bed. Would be sis tight for inspecting. It is time to go to bed. Sis tight for inspect gear. So gear is go. Time to go to bed. It is time to get up. Sis tight for ufste. You could say it's time to stand up or it's time to get up. Sis tight for ufste. It is time to go home. Or 
it's time to go home. Sis tie the ham gear. Ham is home. Sis tie the ham gear. So you're saying it's time to home go. Sis tie the ham gear. It's time to go home. It is time to stop. Sis tie the shopper. So those are some a few phrases for today. I think that's where I'm going to stop. Um, I didn't know if I should go back over some of the ones we already had, but I think if you need to go back over it, you can probably just go back and watch the other lessons again. And I would encourage you, if you want to remember all of these words, to write them down as I'm writing them down, and that way, like, get yourself a notebook, and it'll be easier for you to remember them if you write them down. So... I think that's all I have for today. Um, just remember, if you want me to keep going, comment, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. And because if I don't see a lot of input, I probably won't do too many lessons. So let me know. Just put in the comments and comment any like phrases, things you'd like to learn. I like I've said before, I think probably to really learn the language really good, you'd have to actually live with somebody. But I thought this could at least give you a few starters, like to make conversation with people when you run into them, the Amish people, obviously. So, it is time to stop. For, oh, my marker's not wanting to work. Today. It is time to stop for today. So it's time for stop for height. Height is today. Sis tie for stopper for height. Sis tie for stopper for height. It's time to stop for today. So have a nice day. Hop on Shana Dog. And until next time, hop on Shana Dog. Good Dog. Good day.